table side, and we are in Madrid, Spain, in the heavyweight division. And welcome the import, Ruman Dragonos. This man originally of Romania, now based in Barcelona, Spain, and he is a giant. Six feet, six inches tall, and 120 kilograms. Dragonos is a multiple Spanish national champion. His opponent needs no introduction to anyone in the Super Series. We welcome back the code, Gregory Schneider, from Strasbourg in France, 6'4", and 111 kilograms. This man is the multiple French national champion. Before we get things underway, let's have a little look at some of the important rules of the sport. The athletes have one minute to get a fair grip. Their elbows must remain on the 7x7 elbow pad throughout the round. The referee can award a running foul during the match, which is a little bit like playing an advantage in soccer. And an athlete on a running foul must win the pin in order to get the restart. Two consecutive fouls by any athlete loses them the round. The import, Ruman Dragonos. What an imposing figure this man is. Solid puller. Mostly power is the focus of the import. He will need to exact that early because he's facing a real technician here. In Gregory the Code Schneider. Schneider in the pink shirt. Dragonos is the man facing the camera now. Just his hand. Look at the massive levers on both these men. Very similar in terms of the stats at the table. Dragonos hangs on an elbow foul early for Schneider. Looked like he was trying to get out of the grips. Did the strap early, didn't get there. There you go. Big drive again, hand control assumed. Dragonos sweeps to the side, so much horsepower. The boxer against the puncher okay. here. Another strap. Mid center. In terms of the rule book, should favor the man there in the brown go. shirt. The power, such a big bonus, big drive, but he's onto the running foul. Needs to pin just to get the restart, and he's just been told that in Titans and he gets that I don't think too much of an effort to prevent it by Gregory the experienced Frenchman very much aware that Dragonos had gone onto the runner and he'll use that just one to straighten and stretch out his opponent's arm but uh, looked very comfortable there for Ruman Dragonos and that's a bad start for Snyder and a concerned look on the face of the French puller Got that on the replay. Schneider didn't look settled actually when the drop of the goal came. He looked a little open. And his uh, bicep was stretched very open there on the start. Looked an awkward position and a real look of concern on his face. Marino Morales Gamo. Looking in the corner of Ruman Dragonos and another bantamweight in the form of Christophe, the Stingray of France. Looking at his teammate, Gregory Schneider. Again, so similar in terms of the stats here the length of arm, the size of hand, the haircut. The similarities run on and on. But in terms of style of arm wrestler, these men are polar opposites. One, a technician. One, a man who relies on his power. Raw top end. Dragonos in the brown shirt. Very much the power athlete. Oh, look at that. No finesse there. Just absolute grunt and sideways. And it is paying off. The import. Ruman Dragonos takes it to two pins. Gregory Schneider looking very unsettled there. Couldn't put the brakes on. Couldn't apply the ball lock. Import with the win. What a beast from the Dragonos. Christophe Ray giving the instruction to his teammate to retain hand control as he reverses his top roll to let Dragonos run his own arm into his part. Oh, bad start from Gregory Schneider there. That one did not go to plan. He tried to shoot a hook on Dragonos and he ran into a brick wall. 
are so powerful. Ready, go. A big Allez, sweep to the side. Enormous frustration for the cold. Gregory Snyder looks really frustrated. Yet his movement's unusual to see Snyder. Look, this sluggish on the start. He's really a quick starter, the Frenchman, for a heavyweight in particular. And you can see the frustration etched all over his face. One-sided affair at this stage. Ruman Dragonos. The instruction coming from the Frenchman in the crowd. Team France here in force and they're shouting to Gregory Schneider, hook, try to hook. There you go. Me. Be an effective strategy or otherwise. Wow. Ruman Dragonos is a beast, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Absolutely astonishing top end. Gregory Schneider was forced to back off and an ugly position on that bicep tendon. Ruman Dragonos with the win. Powerful, imposing, huge figure this man is. Six, six of him, 120 kilos, a genuinely large individual, this guy, big ball structure. Je suis à 4 là. Tu rien perdu, hein. Tu lui arraches les manches qui restent là. Tu rien perdu, hein. Mais la solution est dans ta tête, hein, Greg. Hein. Ouais. Tu changes d'équipement. Hein. Gregory Schneider's impeccable standard. This is a horrible showing for him. He's not really managed to get any kind of a foothold in the match at this point in time. And a lot of work being done by Christophe Ray onto the lower bicep. Schneider complaining about that. Obviously feeling a lot of pain there, but for the first time we can see the Frenchman gaining some purchase in the match, getting a foothold here, but he still looks uncomfortable. Doesn't seem to want to connect and get involved in any kind of drive scenario. Staying very, very elusive. Knew he had hand control there, and he knows now the match has stopped, he's got to do that all again. He's trying to put bleed into the hand and wrist of Dragonos. I don't think that the Romanian puller is too worried about that. This man is just reliant on raw top end. Schneider too smart for that. It's a second running foul. And the match goes to Schneider in the most unusual of circumstances, a double runner. Two fouls, and it's the pin to your opponent. Dragonos there. Let's have a look at it on the replay. Maybe we can spot the infringement. It was a huge drive to the back of that. Yeah, elbow straight off the back as he tried to adjust. Schneider had hand and wrist purchase. That's not how he wanted to win the match, though. Dragonos, still smiling, taking it all in his stride. It was the double foul, but he's leading this match convincingly, and that won't take the shine of the Spanish giant. Ready, go. The pride for Gregory Schneider really wants to get himself back in this match. He's gained hand control, but his bicep has failed there. Totally driven to the pad by Roman Dragonos. And a really concerned look on the face of, and it looks like he's 